guys, in today's video I want to talk about hospice nursing. I've had a few people reach out to me and asked me what is hospice nursing? Um, because there can be a little bit of confusion with it and personally I want to say, disclaimer, and I know some people are going to get upset, I have never worked hospice nursing specifically. But being an ICU nurse, I do a lot of hospice nursing because a lot of people decide to withdraw care and I do that end of life care and comfort measures. So I haven't worked like in a facility that's specific to hospice, but if you've worked ICU or you know people who work in the ICU, you know that a lot of people die in the ICU or you withdraw care and so you are being that hospice nurse, so to speak. So what hospice is, and I'm sure it varies from place to place, country to country, um, but hospice nursing is solely comfort measures. You're not doing anything to prolong someone's life. For example, patients usually will stop taking the medications that are prolonging their life most of the time. Um, there are those kind of gray areas, but I'm not talking about the gray areas in this video. I'm talking specifically about what true hospice is, is you stop the medication. So if you're, there's a medication that's supposed to help their blood pressure, that goes away. If there's a medication that's supposed to help with their lungs, that goes away. Unless it has some sort of comfort measure property or the patient decides they still want to take it at the end of their life or whatnot. There's always those gray areas. Again, we're not talking about those gray areas. So they stop all those medications and the only medications that you give the patient are specific to comfort. So for pain, for anxiety, if they've got lots of secretions, um, doing that. You know, you're not checking vital signs, you're not listening to their heart or lung sounds, unless it's going to benefit them in some comfortable way and not necessarily a prolonging life thing. I know in the ICU when we have comfort care patients, we will we still keep them hooked up to the monitor because we have to have a time of death. Um, but there's a mode on our monitors so where the alarms aren't going off when their heart rate starts to drop or their oxygen level drops. But we'll remove all unnecessary devices. We'll keep an IV or central line so we have access for meds. We, we'll take off the SCDs, unless they're for comfort, but we usually those things are not for comfort. Um, we'll stop doing, you know, vital signs and temperatures. We'll still do, still do like oral care, things like that to keep the mouth, mouth moist, um, lotion the skin, make them feel clean, still turn them to keep them comfortable, but only for comfort. If a patient likes being on their right side and hates being turned to their left side and the family or the patient specifically expresses that, then you're going to do what the patient wants to keep them comfortable. I really, really love hospice nursing because I feel like it's nursing at its most raw form. And I've said this in a couple videos, but I'm gonna say it again. It's nursing in its most raw form. You take away all of the crazy technology that we have and it's solely about making someone comfortable and helping the families through that end of life process and keeping them just comfortable and there's nothing more peaceful to a family member than knowing that in a sad situation when their loved one is dying that they died comfortably and they died with their family or whatnot. I've seen way too many situations where that doesn't happen and so as an ICU nurse I can say personally that when a patient chooses hospice that should be on hospice it is a very beautiful thing and wonderful thing for them and their families when they can just be comfortable. So that is what hospice nursing is. If you're a hospice nurse or know anything else about hospice, maybe you have an experience with a family member who's been in hospice, let me know what your thoughts are and comment that down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.